Hi, it's Kick of Kristen, and today I'm going to be talking about the different face products that I use in order to get a smooth surface and also how to apply your foundation. <laughs> Before we get into this video, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Sophia, come here. Also like this video. Come here. If you like doggies. The first thing you want to do before applying your foundation is making sure that you have a smooth surface to work with. With that being said, I'm going to show you the different face products that I use. I have combination skin, which means my face is really dry. Throughout the day, I get really oily in my T-zone. With oily skin, you want to make sure that you choose a face wash that has a little bit of oil in it. And this is because oil particles attract each other just like water molecules attract each other. When you're using a face wash that has oil in it, it's going to attract the oils from your face. You're washing not only the oil from the face wash, but the oil from your face down the drain. So this is one of the face washes that I use, Neutrogena's Oil Free Acne Wash in Pink Grapefruit. The reason why I like this face wash is because first, it smells amazing. <sighs> Second, although it makes my face dry, it also makes my face feeling really, really smooth. You can get this face wash from pretty much anywhere, any Target, Walgreens, Walmart. I think I got mine at Target for about $8, but you only need half a pump each time you wash your face. Before this face wash, I used the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. I think it was only like 20 something but right now I'm on a budget so this seven or eight dollar face wash will have to do for now. It's also important that you exfoliate at least once a week to get all the dead skin off because if you're applying foundation on top of your dead skin your foundation is not gonna last as long. You may actually see the dry skin poking through your foundation and you don't want that. So two face washes that I use occasionally once a week. I use this Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub. And this one I just have a travel size because I don't use it that often. You only need a little bit. This stuff actually spreads pretty well. I just like to use it every now and then to exfoliate my face. Another exfoliating face wash that I use. Burt's Bees Deep Pore Scrub in Peach and Willow Bark. So you know Burt's Bees, they like to use natural ingredients. So this one is Peach and Willow Bark. It smells kind of weird to me. I don't really like the scent of bark, but it feels really refreshing. And I like that it has little beads so that I can get all the dead skin off. The last face wash that I use, because this Burt's Bees face wash came in like a little package. Burt's Bees Soap Bark and Shamil Deep Cleansing cream. Shamil. Shamil? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. But this one actually smells really good. It smells kind of like lemon. It just leaves my skin feeling really moisturized and really smooth. Another really affordable way that you can exfoliate is using baking soda and water. So you just pour a little bit of baking soda in a less amount of water and you just mix it to where it's like a paste. And you just want to scrub it in circular motions all over your face and you can wash it away with warm water. You only need to exfoliate maybe once or twice a week depending on how dry or flaky you feel like your skin is. You don't want to exfoliate too much because it can irritate your skin. Once or twice a week you want to do a face mask. For my face mask I like to use this carbonated bubbly clay mask. And I actually got this from Amazon. I don't remember how much it was but I'm sure it was only like five bucks. A little spatula thing fell inside but this is what it looks like. So you just want to take a little bit and apply it on your whole face. Try to avoid your eye area obviously and it will bubble up within seconds. And I like to just leave it on for a little bit until it starts like bubbling up to my eyes. And then I actually like to massage it in my face again just to get all like the minerals and stuff like that into my skin and then I let it bubble up again and then I wash it with warm water. After I clean my face and exfoliate and all that good stuff, I like to use Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. Now as you can see, I have a lot of 
dark spots on my face from scars from acne that I've had and it used to be really really bad until I started using this stuff I usually just like to take what's on top I don't even like squeeze it into my hand or anything and you just apply it wherever you have dark spots you can apply it all over your face if you want but I like to just apply it to my scars and I like to use it on my nose too because my nose is really dark so what this does is it just brightens up those areas I like to keep my face moisturized like I said the face washes that I use I don't know why every single time my face feels really dry so I like to use Kiehl's ultra facial cream this stuff is so good I love it it's helped my skin so much my skin used to be really flaky that sounds really gross. This stuff is actually pretty expensive. But it comes in a jar like this. You get 1.7 fluid ounces. You only need about maybe that much for your whole face. So I'm just going to moisturize my face. Now for my lips, you want to make sure that your lips are also smooth for lip gloss or lipstick. Even if you don't wear lip gloss or lipstick, it's nice if your lips are smooth looking, not like dry and crackly. After I brush my teeth, I just like to take my toothbrush and scrub my lips. Just very, very softly. Just scrub it for a little bit, of, maybe like 30 seconds to a minute to get all the dead skin off. Um, I didn't do it today. That's why you can see my lips are really dry. The label came off, but this is Egyptian Magic Cream. And it looks like this inside. It just looks like, like a cream. And I just like to like go like that. Very, very little amount. I just use it as a lip moisturizer and it works really well. What you can also do if your lips are really, really dry and you have a bunch of dead skin, this is pretty thick. If my lips are really dry, I would just take a huge chunk, put it on my lips, leave it on for about five to 10 minutes and then use a towel and scrub it off. And then I would apply a thin layer on top and use it as my moisturizer. I like to put it on before I put lipstick on, especially if it's matte because it keeps my lips moisturized throughout the day. Okay, and that is all the face products that I use. Now I'm gonna go into how I apply my foundation. So foundation, I like to use Maybelline's Fit Me Poreless in the dewy smooth in the color 330 toffee now this color is actually a little bit too dark for me but i'm gonna use it anyway i also have the same color in the matte finish but i've been liking the dewy finish more just because it makes my skin look younger and moisturized if you have really oily skin i do not recommend using a dewy foundation just because the dewy foundation makes you look dewy so it makes you look more like wet so if you're really oily this could be bad it's just using a matte foundation on the other hand if you have really dry skin I would recommend using a dewy foundation it's gonna make your skin look a lot more moisturized I'm gonna be showing you how to apply foundation with a beauty blender and with a brush um, I haven't used a brush in a while we'll just see how this goes so before applying your foundation you want to use a primer that helps keep your foundation on longer this is going to keep your natural bodily chemicals from changing the chemicals in the foundation if that makes any sense so what a primer does is it just helps act as a blocker in a way to keep those chemicals from reacting with each other personally i do not use a primer because when i did use a primer it made me break out now i don't know if it was the specific primer that i used but that's why i don't use primer but i will show you just for today because i actually have not used this specific primer and the primer that I'm gonna be using today is Max Prep and Prime. Now this was a sample that was sent to me when I ordered a couple of their products. I'm just gonna be taking a little amount and applying that all over my face. I'm gonna apply it to my eyes as well. Now this actually feels really nice and really smooth. It doesn't feel as sticky as the primer that I used before and I'm not sure which brand that is with the primer I think it was like honestly some cheap brand but this stuff feels really smooth and really nice so we'll see how it works with the foundation so with the foundation you want to wet your beauty blender so the correct way is you would pour some foundation on the back of your hand and mix it a little bit to warm the foundation up and then apply it on your face but I personally just put it on top of my beauty blender it works for me <laughs> so I'm just gonna do half my face 
um, with the beauty blender and then I'm going to show you the other half with a brush. So you just want to apply it by using patting motions. You don't want to, what's this called? Swipe the beauty blender across your face. It's going to just be really streaky and you won't have any coverage really because you're wiping the foundation away. Now if you like light coverage, one layer is all you need. But I like to double up my foundation because I need that full coverage, girl. So I'm just going to add another layer. Now that this side is done, I'm going to be showing you how to do this side of my face with a brush. And I just use a brush like this, um, but you can use any foundation brush that you have. I really want to get the Sephora one, but it was like 30 bucks, so I'll save that for um, when I have the money. So I just put it on the back of my hand, and I'm just dipping into the foundation. And I'm going to be going in circular motions. So I noticed that just now, because I have not used the brush in a long time, with the brush, um, you don't need as much product as you do on the beauty blender because when you use a beauty blender, it soaks up a lot of the product. But with the brush, most of it will go onto your face. So I'm actually not using as much foundation as I did with the beauty blender. Now I'm not like digging into my skin, I'm just lightly on the surface of my skin and going in circular motions. So they both look smooth. It honestly just depends on your preference on what you want to do. I usually like to use a beauty blender, just think it's easier. So now I'm going to set my face with a powder. I don't like to bake if I'm using a dewy foundation because I feel like the dewy foundation is a little bit thicker. So when I bake and then I contour after, it kind of I don't know, it creates like a weird like water line, foundation line. So I just like to use Maybelline's Fit Me Poreless Pressed Powder. And this is in the shade 222 True Beige. So I just take a huge fluffy brush like this and I'm just patting into the powder. And I like to go over my eyes first before um, they start creasing. Then under my eye. And then the rest of my face. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I did finish the rest of my face off camera, but if you want to know how I got this look, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to make that video for you. Thank you again for watching. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!